Welcome to TaylorMade. My name is Philip Shelton. I run our Medallion Racing Partnership, which is partnered with my racehorse on Street Band. Um, we're going to take you around the farm and show you a bunch of different stuff today. We're starting out in one of our yearling barns. This is uh, what we call Yearling Complex C. It's for horses that are prepping for either the Phasic Tipton September Sale in Lexington or the Keeneland September Sale. Um, this is the barn that American Pharaoh prepped at before he went and was a famous RNA at Phasic Tipton before he went on to win the Triple Crown. And here it is, the 37 year wait is over. American Pharaoh is finally the one. American Pharaoh has won the Triple Crown. Today we're gonna to kind of show you what some of these yearlings go through and yearling prep. We'll go look at some mares and then we'll end up with uh, the stallion tour. We can go see Not This Time, who's on fire right now. He's the number one leading freshman crop sire by a number of winners. I had a couple of impressive winners this weekend at Delmore. This is the, the heart of prep season. We're a couple weeks away from the September sale. So we're doing everything we can to help these yearlings look their absolute peak once they enter the sale ground. So we alternate at TaylorMade. Some days they'll go on the on the automated walker, which is what they're doing now. Other days they'll go be hand walked in a field. And so what we'll do now is we'll stop them and they're gonna get them to go the other way. And just like a human, we wanna make sure that they're working both sides. It just takes stress and it puts it equally so that you're not overworking one side. Just below the walker, they're gonna, they're boiling flaxseed. Everything we're doing is trying to get these horses to their physical peak. Most of these horses are, they're more or less turned out 23 hours a day. They'll come in in the morning, we'll check them, make sure everybody's healthy, happy, eating good. We'll kick them back out. About 60 to 80 days prior to the sale, they'll get put on a higher protein feed. They'll start getting put on a workout program, which is similar to what they're doing now. Their schedule will change instead of being out 23 hours. They come up at seven in the morning, they get kicked back out at seven o'clock at night, so they're only out for 12 hours. And what that does, it prevents sunburn. So just like um, I'm fair skinned and I'll get sunburned, the horses are very similar. Uh, it would be the opposite. They would be, instead of dark, this beautiful bay color, they would really get lightened. It's called bleaching. I um, mean, it's not really a negative, like if I get sunburned, I'm in a lot of pain. These guys, it's just a cosmetic. Um, thing, but it's less desirable for the sale. So everything we're doing is to help the owners achieve their maximum value. At this point, all of the yearlings, the colts go out in these small paddocks, they're individualized, and the fillies will go out together in smaller groups. The colts will get separated. They're just rough and rambunctious. They're like a group of 13 year old boys. They're just playful, but when you weigh a thousand pounds and you're playful, you know, injuries happen. There's a lot of bite marks, chewing of tails and stuff like that. The fillies are a lot better. The fillies, a lot of times for them, what you have to worry about the most is they basically get turned out in their big field and they put their nose in the grass and they don't come up until they come up in the morning. So the colts are more rambunctious. They generally are easier to keep their weight off. The fillies, you have to worry about a little bit sometimes that they can get heavy. This is a very standard way that they're gonna set the horse up. So you wanna always be able to see all four legs. So the front leg on the outside will always be out in front and then the same thing with the back leg but here you get a good view of all four legs um, you, and you always want the legs closest to you on the outside and this just as general horse showmanship but you always show the left side of the horse so if you're ever not sure like is it the left leg the right leg it'd be just the same way as a human whatever their front like the way they orient themselves is their left and then the way they orient themselves is the right one thing we like to see with all of our yearlings in their neck is you want them to come in here and tie in so there's good depth from where their neck meets their shoulder down into their shoulder. If uh, like a less desirable trait would be if their neck kind of came in here and tied in lower on their shoulder. But you can see what we're trying to get is this filly look, looks really strong. We got a big forearm here in their muscle. We got a great strong shoulder. Same thing, a good strong hip. You can see right here in this horse's Gaskin, um, which is towards their back, but you can see that muscling. And that's something that would be a lot different 60 days ago. The muscling just wouldn't be there. You can see very classy and professional just wants to stand there and take it easy. And that's another trait that these horses will practice every day, just standing, walking, um, all those things so that once they get to the sale, it's old news. They're not um, uncomfortable or anything else. TaylorMade has sold over 100 grade one winners 
there are so many people that are so passionate about racing and about what we're doing. I think the, the biggest thing at every level is to try to show these horses get unbelievable care. They have hands on them every day to make sure that they're happy, they're healthy, they don't have any cuts, they don't have any soundness issues. And they get to come out here and they're turned out into these big lush paddocks. Everybody's happy. The reality is a lot of horses that go to the track, they just don't make it. They're not fast enough, can have issues. We do a lot with aftercare here. A portion of every horse we sell gets donated, but there are so many great organizations. And I think we could always do a better job of advocating for the care that the horses get at every level. If you go to the barns in the morning, there's nobody that loves the horse is more than the groom. The person that's in there with them every day, that's the same here. These guys are gonna know all the horses and they're gonna know what they bring and they're gonna know, you know, if, hey, it was great or it wasn't as good and everybody's invested. We're all trying to pull to that same level. Like it's a huge goal here because ultimately the more success our clients have, the more success we have.